Mayor said, all hands on deck, everything goes, whatever we gotta do, you gotta fight the storm. And we did. And we had overtime. So to say the mayor said you couldn't have overtime is ridiculous. Tuesday morning, my staff and I, we talked about what our plan was. We broke up our shifts so that the city would have coverage continuously. And like most plans, you gotta be able to adjust. And Mother Nature changed the plan on us. We were doing pretty good all morning long. Afternoon hit is when we started getting hit with snow. At that point, we had to adjust our plan, but we had problems getting people in. We had vehicles all over, everything happened at once. By seven o'clock that night though, we were able to get out on the streets. We made passes through pretty much everywhere we had to go. And then Wednesday started up our recovery effort with all the vehicles still on the road. Everybody's a Monday morning quarterback after the game. My 46 guys did one hell of a job doing what they had to do. And there was only 46 of us to cover a whole city like this. I think we did an awesome job with the resources and the men that we had. Parks even helped out. They were out there with their trucks. So I think with all the manpower we had, I think we did a pretty good job. Now, when you are getting seven inches an hour of snow, I don't care who you are, you're gonna run into issues, especially in an urban area densely populated with cars and people trying to get home or just being out and about. And it's hard to work around. That's why when we do most of our snow plowing, it is at night. But you can't leave a snowstorm not covered during the day either. And we were holding our own during the day until we started getting the amount of snow that we got in a brief period of time. It was historical. So to Monday morning quarterback me on that, I just can't comprehend it. Can they be upset? Absolutely. I was upset that I wasn't able to meet expectations of the public and the council people that I try to work with in a professional manner. But when you have that kind of snow in that short period of time and the people that were out there, it's very hard to work around. And I think my guys did one hell of a job working with what they had to work with. Looking back on it, we had different weather forecasts. That morning when we were preparing here at DPW, we were expecting up to maybe 18 inches of snow, not 33. There's a big difference in how you take care of that. And the weather forecast, of course, changed because the system moved. So this was pretty much the perfect storm. Everything came together to put us right in the bullseye of the heaviest snow. So what happened was we had cold air over top of us. We had a ton of moisture coming up from the Gulf and those things combined together right over top of central New York. So this is why we got two, three, four inches per hour. Um, this is a storm that you'll see maybe two or three times in your lifetime. It's really hard to keep up with snowfall rates of two or three inches per hour. Some of the heavier lake effect stuff is one to two inches per hour. So we had pretty much 24 hours straight of snow and you add that on top of each other and that's why we got up to around 40 inches or so. As we all know, we, we had a historic event that was the uh, worst snowstorm in the history of Utica of this region. It just basically crippled our city. And then again, when you have a major problem, you have teamwork. And I have to thank the governor, Governor Cuomo, who came to our, our rescue, who helped us out. The county executive, who I was on the phone with the day before, the day of, and the day after, Kevin Rivera, DOT, OGS, Emergency Services. I could go on and on and on. Dave Short, our commissioner, did an outstanding job from the beginning until the end. He was here 24 hours a day doing a great job along with my entire staff. Yep, you're right, I was out in the plow because I am a hands-on mayor and I care about you people. When I was out, there were people out there helping each other. It wasn't the yelling and screaming, who was pushing, who was shoveling, who was shoveling out, trying to help some people. So as much as I say, Dave Short, you did a great job, the residents did an even better job. And I care about you people and I'll do whatever I can to do the best for my great residents of this great city. The overall amount of cars towed was pretty significant, but the first 24 hours we only towed five because the snow was coming down so fast. Uh, the first day we realized people were stranded, they had no choice, they had no opportunity to get their cars home, so it turned into more of a rescue effort, I would say. Uh, we were trying to get people to at least convenience stores. I know uh, guys in SUVs were dropping people off at convenience stores wherever they could. The first day really five cars got towed and then we waited about 36 hours, then we really started. We had no choice at that point. We had assets in from all over the state and we had to move forward and get the streets cleared. The storm hit at a very inconvenient time because a lot of people were out on the streets to begin with. They obviously had to get home. So it took a lot of effort by citizens helping each other and obviously emergency responders from DPW helping each other also. Well, the county and the state and the city were shoulder to shoulder at City Hall coordinating the efforts. We even had the National Guard here shoveling out hydrants and opening access to roads. State Office of Emergency Management was there with us. OGS brought in uh, heavy equipment. 
is the city crews and the DOT crews were opening up roads. We had other crews in the county. We were focusing first on health care facilities. We wanted to make sure the hospitals had access. And we reached out to the, through the 911 center, the urgent care facilities and the nursing homes. We wanted to make sure that those folks were as set as they, they possibly could be. Of course, any storm like this, you know, you get to the side streets eventually. They made a great effort keeping the, the main thoroughfares open, although there were cars stranded on, you know, on Genesee Street and Oriskany Boulevard and some of the other main streets. It gets difficult getting tows in there in a coordinated fashion and getting those cars, when they are there, towed to some other location. We had to set up three different locations to have cars towed to. So it took a lot of coordination from dozens of agencies, and all things considered, it went pretty well. In the city of Utica, we had so much snow at one point, in a certain period of time, there was nothing we could do and we had to let it do what it's going to do and we came in and cleaned it up afterwards and we got this city opened up in less than 24 hours after it did. I think that says a lot for my guys. I think it says a lot for this administration. It says a lot about the state of New York who came in to help. We weren't the only city that had this problem. Troy, New York had only 19 inches of snow and the state had to come in there with their snowblowers to help out the city. So it's not just a Utica issue. The arterial was completely blocked. New York State DOT had to tow over 100 cars because they couldn't get down the arterial with the plows. It wasn't just a Utica issue, it was a regional issue. The storm, Mother Nature does what she's gonna do, and she did. I think we did one hell of a job. <laughs>